What's up guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a new SSD or NVMe in your Dell G15 laptop. So in the laptop you get space for one NVMe. Mine was equipped with a 450GB M.2 with Windows on it and I have since installed the 1TB SSD. So I'm going to be showing you the process to do each one. And here I have a Samsung 970 Evo Plus 2TB NVMe. Got on Amazon, I'll of course have the link down below. And it was about $80 for 2TB. So we're going to start off simply with a Phillips screwdriver on the bottom of the laptop here. There's going to be screws here, 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 and here. Then these ones on the front here are angled a bit. So the back two and the front two are not captive, well these are. Next thing you're going to do is have to remove this backing. I just like using my fingernails, otherwise some sort of plastic tool could help. And there we go. You'll see there are tabs on the back here just like that. And these two are supposed to be slightly bent there. And you'll see here that there is actually another spot for more sodium RAM. I already have 16 gigabytes, which I'm fine with. And you'll see it actually has an Alienware logo right there. So it means it's basically an Alienware laptop just with, without a lot of the bloatware and, you know. All right, and now you'll see the two NVMe spaces. So I already have a one terabyte. WD Blue SSD and here you'll see there isn't a space for a screw for this length I've found that it has been fine so far So I've just been using it like that haven't had any issues you can also take this time to clean all the dust off of the mesh here and off of the fans but this here, the boot drive is going to be the one that I am replacing so again this came with a 500 gigabyte M.2. I'm going to be replacing it for a 2 terabyte. If you are replacing your boot drive instead of just adding a new one, you will have to use a software to copy not just all your data but also the Windows operating system onto your new drive. I have already done that. I'll put a link to where I got my software from in the description below as well. So you'll see there's this little copper shroud on here, comes with a thermal pad. So now I just need to wiggle this out of here, carefully, just like that. You'll see this is a Kyoxia drive. And here is my new Samsung drive, and you'll see that they did actually give me a standoff here. So now we need to remove this bracket which is actually where the NVMe screws into. All you're gonna do is just carefully push that way. And you'll see it's removed. If you do wanna be especially safe, and I'll give you the port number there, I think I'm gonna order one of these myself. And get another one of these brackets for the other side. But all we need to do now is put it into here. And to do that, it goes under these two and over that one and you just slide it into the new space. All right, now I'm gonna grab my drive, put it at a bit of an angle into here, be careful with that, set it down, and now screw it back in. So just note that when installing a drive of this length, this piece will not work anymore because it has this piece that goes down. So you can either discard or save that. I am though just going to put this screw back in here, so that's all right. Now it's time to put the laptop back together, fire it up, and I'll even show you how to partition it. Alright, so putting it back together is as easy as taking it apart. And again, I'd recommend kind of cleaning up these fans while you're in here. So the tabs on the back here are going to go in first. They just kind of slot in like that, lower it down. 
Once it's in position, you can start clipping it in. And then screwing it down. And just note that some of these may not click until it has been screwed down, so it's alright if it's not all the way there until you screw it in. Now just for the front and the back, and we will be done with the physical installation. And with the final screw here, I'd just like to note, I've had this laptop for a little over a year now, and it has just been great. Can, for a benchmark, I'll use Apex Legends, I can use it. 1080p with an external display, runs at about 100 frames per second in Apex. Handles Chrome well, Minecraft, everything else, so it's a pretty nice laptop. Alright, now with everything back together, let's boot it up and set up the drive. Alright, so it looks like it's booting up now. There we go, it brought me right into Windows, so if you haven't transferred any data onto it yet, you haven't migrated your OS, let me just show you how to partition it to get it to show up in File Explorer. So we can type in to Windows is Partition Manager, it'll look the same on Windows 10 and 11. You're just going to scroll down and it will show your new disk. You're going to right click. It will show Create New Simple Volume. You can change any preferences there that you want. And then you have your new disk which will show up in File Explorer and will be able to be used. And you'll see I actually have BitLocker on my other drive. So if you have BitLocker on any other drive, you just go to your Microsoft account and you can find it there. So thank you guys for watching this video on how to replace or add a new M.2 in your Dell G15 laptop. If you liked it, drop a like. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section and I'll see you in the very next video.